Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Be attacked. Oh. Oh, hi everyone. Good morning, software engineers. Just looking up some stuff for the quiz this week. Ha ha ha. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Hope you had a happy Easter or happy Bunny Day for those of you that celebrate in Animal Crossing. Um, yeah, maybe not the normal Easter Easter Sunday that many of you are used to, or maybe it is the same. Who knows? We uh, we did a non we did a social distancing Easter egg hunt through our neighborhood where my wife hid uh, laminated large Easter eggs in various people's yards, and that was pretty cool. So there you go. Anyway, there's a lot to talk about today. This is mostly going to be a uh, announcement. This is all an announcement lecture talking about what's going on this week and a little bit about next week. And then there's three lectures coming up later this week. So first and foremost, Quiz 5 is going to is released. It is now available. You can find it in student resources. And also um, it's available to be turned in in grade scope if you get super quick on it. But I will go through that quiz with you in just one moment. But let's do the rest of the announcements. This week is Sprint Check 6 and also your beta versions. So with this Sprint Check, when you meet with the TAs, they're going to award you 5,000 points for Sprint Check 6 and also 25,000 points for having a working beta version ready to go for beta testing. I, I wouldn't stress too much about whether you, you know, did you do enough for the beta version for that 25,000. If you can pass Sprint Check 6 and you have a working app, you're going to get the 25,000 for the beta version. I mean, the, this is one of those where we expect everyone to have enough functionality at this point if you're passing Sprint Checks that we can give you half of the score for the final score now. So when I grade your final project, final, final version of your project, it'll be out of 25,000 and it'll be tacked onto the 25,000 you're getting now. So just kind of spot you those points. So if you're looking at that credit, no credit line or the grade grade line, there you go. So when you meet with the TAs this week, you'll either earn 30,000 points or, or zero because if you don't pass a sprint check, that means you didn't have a working app, probably. Uh, but then in re-evaluation, you, you'll, you'll get 28,000. So just the, the 3,000 back for the re-evaluation plus the 25 for the beta version. So I'm expecting probably everyone's going to have a working version ahead for sprint check six this week. But that's where the score is coming from right there. Once you've had that meeting with your TAs, beta testing should begin. Now, from your team, from your TA meeting this week through your TA meeting next week, the week of the 20th, I don't want you to actually be doing any major work on your apps. I really want you to focus on beta testing other teams' apps um, and making sure you're giving them good feedback and you're doing whatever it is they ask you to do. So uh, testing managers, if you have any questions, there's been some good questions on Piazza. Please ask those questions so I make sure everyone's on the same page. Remember, every team member is responsible or every student in the class is responsible for beta testing two other apps. And those those scores can be found, that information uh, is in the information that I posted about um, Sheriff Explains the Rest of the Semester, that video. Um, it's also in the, the beta testing um, template document. You can find it there as well. And the testing managers should be, should be helping manage this. Um, if you want to beta test another app, a third app to get more, uh, points towards your attendance score. You can't go over 10k, but you if you've missed some labs and you want to make sure and you want to get up to 12k, that's great. Beta test a third app. It can be any app that you want, not your own, um, and not the one you already did. Uh, and then you'll get you'll be uh, awarded those points. So um, please, if anyone has any questions, make sure you ask me. I want to catch these ahead of time. Um, just so it moves as smoothly as possible. We've never tried it this way. There's a lot of things we haven't tried so far, but so far we're doing okay. So I, I'm thinking this is gonna work, um, but if you have any concerns, please, 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 please let me know. Um, next week, so the week of the 20th, when you meet with your TAs, you'll talk about your beta testing results. You'll come up with a, with a plan of what you should be working on between then and when you demo the app to me the next week for your final score, the week of the 27th. Okay. Uh, there is no scrum uh, report due next week, the 20th. There is one due this week for sprint check six. So this is the final scrum report. So make sure you still do that. Guided practice H, the last one has been posted. It is due this coming Saturday. Um, we will cover the material for it on Wednesday when I do post the video on ethics. On Thursday of this week at 11 a.m. Eastern time, 
I'm going to do a live lecture, live discussion on 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 ethics, um, reviewing the material I talked about in the video on Wednesday, uh, and then an opportunity for you to kind of work on it together. I guess I'm still working out the mechanics of this. I'm going to have to ask some of the other instructors how they've been doing, like breakout rooms and Zoom and that sort of thing. I kind of want to try it, but it's not required that you come to the lecture on Thursday. I will record it as normal. Um, well, it won't be normal because it'll be through Zoom, so it'll be lower quality, but um, I will record it. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions, again, post about those, um, but you can still do it on your own. I would really like for you to do it with someone else, even if you do it on your own, because kind of the discussion of the ethical issues is kind of the point here. So that leads us to the final week of the semester, the week of the 27th wherein I don't have anything planned um, as far as lecture goes. So if there's something you want to talk about, let me know and I'll do some videos. Um, but there you go. So that's what's coming up this week. Um, questions, queries, quandaries, post them online. We'll go from there. So um, quiz five comes out today. It is due out, it is due in a week, just like the last ones. Um, quiz five. Slightly different. I'm learning better about how to do these. First, first, notice that um, there's some new submission instructions. So in the previous days, I've had you make sure you kept the questions on the page in which I put the question and I gave you a full page to answer. That hasn't been working great. It's worked fine, but there's been some people who've had some issues keeping things on the right pages. And so let's do it the other way you can do it in Gradescope, which is whenever you submit your test, you have to make sure you click question one is here, question two is here, question three is here, so that we can grade it appropriately, okay? Anyone who doesn't do that, I'll be very sad at you, but just please make sure you do that when you submit so that we can make sure we grade things uh, accordingly. So uh, I put all four questions on just the, this page. Uh, you can spread it out however you want. Keep them in order, please. Um, I guess technically you don't have to. Don't try it. Don't try it. Um, these are going to be much more, you're going to have to go do some research and thinking sort of questions. This was a weird section to do as a take home because a lot of the questions here are things like what's, you know, give me the definitions of adaptive, corrective, and perfective maintenance in this example, or, um, tell me some things you would do during, during uh the testing phase to ensure security i mean a lot of it is more recall than i usually do on a test just because of the nature of this section so these questions are a little bit more essay-ish kind of so um you're gonna have to do a little bit of research on your own for instance this first one i give you a scenario here and ask you to try and figure out which design pattern makes the most sense to try and do so you can go to this website here the refactoring guru this was refactoring raccoon uh, and look through the design patterns see if you can find one that you think works and explain why it works and how it works um question two asks you to think about code smells that you would have in your project and explain how you would fix them and, and what you have to do in order to fix them Question three has to do with, assume you are releasing your project for real. What are some things you would do for security concerns for your particular project? And I will be looking for your particular project. If you just repeat back, I think I should do security things. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. It has to be something related directly to your project. Um, same thing down here. Assume you're doing your project for real. What are some examples of adaptive, corrective, and perfective maintenance that you think you would need to do on your project in the future? So... I think this works. Um, the TAs looked over it. They thought it looked pretty good too. So there you go. That is quiz number five. Um, it is due in a week. Um, again, remember, uh, there's not a lot of questions I'm going to answer, particularly for this one. There's not a lot of questions. Um, just because it's not fair to make people have to look in multiple places. If you do ask a question, please make sure it's a private question on Piazza. We had a little bit of problem with that with the last quiz. Um, just because... It can get weird. So just make sure, even if it's not sensitive in any way, please just ask any questions about the, the quiz as private questions on Piazza. And then, you know, looking at the schedule. So we are here. I've released the quiz. Um, Sprint Check 6 and beta testing is going to begin this week. I'll do my usual live Q&A tomorrow at 11 if anyone wants to join. 
um, releasing videos on licensing and ethics on Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, actually, Guided Practice H is already out. You can go ahead and look at it if you want. Um, live lecture on Thursday. Guided Practice due on Saturday. Quiz comes in on Monday. The the um, Quiz 6 on ethics and licensing will come out on next Monday, and then we kind of go on from there. So, folks, that's what I got for you this week. I hope, again, you had a wonderful weekend. I hope that um, you are enjoying some of the weather out there. We had four inches of rain last night in Charlottesville. My backyard is flooded. Um, but we had a lot of fun jumping in puddles for a while. There you go. So, anyway, wish you all the best. Miss you as always. Bye.